Patterns are looping MIDI sequences that you can trigger from notes on the keyboard or via the global play button. In addition to the instrument, each sample tank three part can also hold a collection of patterns. To assign patterns to a part, click the Pattern tab at the top of the browser. Now instead of a selection of instruments, you will see a selection of patterns grouped into similar categories. If you have a piano instrument loaded into part one, browse the piano category for piano patterns. You can audition patterns right in the browser by pressing the Play Audition button at the bottom left. Use the plus one and minus one arrows to shift the octave of the audition or the equals button to restore the octave to its default setting. And just like on the instrument tab, you have a search function here to search for specific patterns in your library and the familiar Scan Library button so Sample Tank 3 can update its pattern database. When you find a pattern you like, you can load it into the part in two ways. First, you can simply double-click on the pattern name in the browser and it will automatically load into the selected part starting at note C0. The next pattern will load into C sharp 0, then D0, D sharp 0, etc., chromatically up the keyboard. You can also drag patterns from the browser directly onto the keyboard to assign them to specific notes. You can have one pattern on every note of the keyboard if you like. There are 128 MIDI notes, so that's 128 possible patterns per part. Each pattern shows its native tempo in its file name but patterns will always play back at the global tempo displayed in the BPM indicator below. Click the BPM field and enter a new value to change the global tempo. When used as a plugin, Sample Tank 3 will automatically sync its tempo to the DAW or host application. This sync is indicated by the clock icon next to the BPM indicator. When sync is active, the clock icon is highlighted white. If you prefer, you can override this by clicking the clock icon to let Sample Tank 3 play its patterns at its internal tempo instead of at the host tempo. When you have several patterns loaded onto notes within a part, you can manage them by either clicking their note on the keyboard or by selecting them from the pattern drop-down menu. Then with the single pattern selected, you can adjust its intensity where you scale the MIDI velocities of the pattern harder or softer. You can also transpose the selected pattern. Tonal patterns, like piano or bass patterns, will display their musical key in the key column. You can change the key up or down by clicking and dragging. For non-tonal patterns, like drums and percussion, the key column will simply show the transposition in semitones. And there's a global key selector next to the tempo indicator. This puts all patterns in the same key automatically. You can also adjust the quantization of the selected patterns by selecting any of the quantization values in the drop-down menu. You can turn a busy 16th note pattern into a more simple 8th note or even quarter note pattern. Or you can apply varying degrees of swing to a pattern. Just choose the quantization value that fits your music best. To delete a pattern, select it first, then click the X button in the Part Viewer. Sample Tank also has a global play button that you can use to trigger one pattern on each part simultaneously. You can load a drum pattern on one part, a bass pattern on another part, a piano pattern on a third part, then trigger them all simultaneously. The last pattern selected in each part will respond to the global play button. 